no idea who he is, but look out here! This is the force power. We're just pushing Pirate's Curse up here. Visit our website at nintendochitchat.com and catch up on everything Nintendo. Hello Nintendo Chit Chatters, I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com and welcome to this video of Monster Jam Steel Titans on the Nintendo Switch. Today we're doing some circuit racing, so get your seatbelts, get your helmets, and let's go. Alright guys, very excited for this. Make sure you guys blast the like button for us, comment below, and subscribe if you're new. Bring some more videos of Monster Jam Steel Titans to you. I'm still relatively new to the game. I haven't played all that much. I'm a little bit more off camera. I'm just kind of testing some things out. But uh, circuit racing is pretty awesome. We're beginning uh, with the first course, which is Titans Grove. You can see it's kind of a, uh, a dirt track here. There's some jumps. It's pretty windy. It's a pretty long circuit, too. There will be three laps. And we'll have a field of other trucks against. I think a total of six trucks or so in the field. We're going to choose our difficulty here. We'll go to easy. Uh, I would go a little bit higher here. But again, I'm just new to the game. So I'm still getting a handling on the truck. So we'll keep it on easy. Uh, a little bit above beginner. All right. So we can do also extended. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing that's probably five laps. I haven't tested it out. But I know the main event length normally here is three laps so we're going to stick with our monster jam uh, training truck too for this particular race and we'll go into some career modes and some other events too as we do more of these gameplay videos on the channel so uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see some freestyle some more circuit racing head to heads let me know and hopefully i can unlock some trucks too i think i actually have to unlock trucks doing some of the career stuff so we'll see though all right, so we'll keep the training truck here. We do have some points uh, we can use to getting our truck upgraded. So let's stabilize our chassis. All right, give some more tire traction. Acceleration gonna help us out here in this course. And I think that's all we can do. Yeah, we're out of the points for that. So, okay. So un unlocked some more tire traction, uh, some more acceleration. We should be good to go here. All right, guys, I'm kind of nervous about this. I tested it out earlier on, and uh, it's pretty intense. Trucks bang against each other. There's some accidents happening once in a while. It's gonna be pretty chaotic. All right, Titans Grove here. Circuit racing today. Ooh, we got a few, we got Megalodon, Max D in the field, El Toro Loco. Oh my, a couple of Max D trucks in here, okay. Oh, I got a bad start there, so two Max D trucks. Altura Loco, I'm not sure the guy is here in front of me to the right, I have no idea who he is, but look out here! They're all going sideways, and we somehow miss a huge accident and take over first place. The Megalodon there is right behind me in second. You'll see above me a uh, kind of a black bar turning white slowly. That's the progression of the race. Each one of those diamonds is a lap. So there's three laps to go. And, uh, all right, so we have a bit of a lead here. I'm going to take it a little bit easy over some of these jumps. I will tell you what happened earlier on in a test or two of this course. We broke our wheel at the last lap, and to repair it, you have to, uh, Stop your truck completely and spam the B button for about five seconds. So you lose some time, you lose your momentum, and uh, we end up only getting third place out of that. So hopefully we can uh, take less damage on the truck here. Hit these jumps pretty much flat. Don't nose or hit any of the wheels in particular too hard. All right, so ooh, don't go off track either, otherwise it resets your vehicle, your truck, into the center of the track. So stay in the dirt all that you can. Otherwise, you do lose some time there again. Oh, Max D is slamming from behind here. My gosh. 
So we had some business behind us, guys. And there is the first lap. Max D is less than a second behind us. We got Megalodon. Max D, the other version of the truck, is in the fourth. So there's only five trucks, I guess. Or I guess the other fifth truck. I'm not sure who the other truck is, by the way. When we first started the race, I had no idea who that truck was. I'm not familiar with all of the newer trucks in Monster Jam right now. All right, so cheer us on here. We've got about half of the course to go here. And power slide here, get some speed. Hitting about 80 top speed there. Over these jumps, gonna hit him nice. Not too much air. All right, I am kind of worried about these tires breaking down on us, guys. So we upgraded our top speed and our uh, traction here too, so we're doing pretty good. It's like Megalodon there took over second place from Max D. Coming up here. Got a couple of bigger turns and straight away yet to hit this uh, last part of lap two. We're looking pretty good here, but again, we want to make sure our tires don't break on us here. And keep it on the track as well. You see the outside of the track does have a little bit of a a bump to it, kind of keeping it in, but if you do hit that top speed, you can fly over the side of the track and off the track, which is not good at all. So keep it in the middle all you can. All right, so they're still behind us here. They're not too far away, though. It was taking it a little bit easy there, that lap. So we're through. The last lap, the white flag is out. Max D is back five seconds. Alien Invasion, that's who it was now in third place. And the other Max D truck back and forth, almost six and a half seconds behind. Got about three quarters of a lap remaining here, guys. Can we hang on? Pretty clear so far. Make sure our tires do not break down. Stay on the track. Ooh, baby, all right. Get a little bit squirrely there. I'm not gonna go full speed here. Uh, hitting these jumps, okay, I guess. All right. This is on easy, so we're giving ourselves a little bit easier time here as well. We will change difficulty as we get better at the game, so keep that in mind for you guys who are just tuning in. And yeah, this is Monster James Steel Titans on the Switch. All right, I think we have this in the books here, guys. Last couple turns coming up. Just don't break any tires down, please. And how do we avoid that huge collision early on? We we kept all four wheels on the ground somehow. We gotta watch that replay here. Unfortunately, there's no replays in the game either. I wish there was. That's something we could add in or for the next version of the game, hopefully. But uh, we'll see the replay here, of course, just by the YouTube video itself. And here is the checkered flag, guys. Coming to victory here. Nicely done. All right, I was worried there. Again, I did this once or twice before and our, our tire broke twice and we ended up losing first place both times. So we got lucky. Getting some big points here. <clears throat> All right. So that's Titan's Grove here. Boom, Max D. Getting 5, 12, 58. Two Max D trucks there in the top three. And the Alien Invasion fourth. Megalodon ended up being sixth. And El Toro Loco came back for fifth place there. Only about 20 seconds behind us, though. So it was a pretty good pack overall. And there you go, guys. Not a bad little circuit racing uh, victory for us. We'll do, I guess, two of these per episode for now. We're going to go to the Gecko Flats airfield. And then if we finish up this one here in the top three, hopefully. I'm not sure how it unlocks, but uh, maybe a victory. I don't know. But this is a very windy and hilly course, as you can see. So a lot of hairpin turns, but some good straightaways, too. So was that already on extended? I don't know. We'll keep it on normal, though. And we'll keep our Monster Jam training truck with us here. We can uh, upgrade a little bit, too. Get our top speed upgraded there. Uh, uh, okay, so that's all we have. 
All right, so we are upgrading here. We need to do our suspension and chassis next. All right, race number two of the episode. I'm kind of nervous, though. This one here I didn't test out at all. So I'm going in here totally kind of blind to the track just by seeing the, the layout of the map there. A lot of little hills. It looks like pretty narrow. Looks like I'll be jumping over some stuff here, too. Some airplanes? Wings? That's crazy. All right, I'm not sure about this track at all. We got Max D, Earthshaker in here. Ooh, we got the Monster Mutt Dalmatian as well. And Pirate's Curse. We got a late start here. Am I hanging back? I don't know. On the straightaway here, some big air. Oh, trucks are all sideways here, hanging on. It is loud as can be. You got literally thousands and thousands of horsepower. We're just pushing Pirate's Curse up here. Out of the way. Earthshaker here and Max D. Can we split the uprights? Passing Max D there. Some big air. All right. We got to watch these jumps, though, again. Don't want anything to break down on our truck. And here comes the tight hairpin turn. All right. Back this little straightaway. Lots of little bumps here. You can't get sideways and squirrely pretty easily. So keep an eye on the track. Behind us, there's still a big group behind us there. Pirates Curse and Max D, Earthshaker. Who else was there? I don't even know. Be hitting some big air here. Look out. Huge air into the turn. All right. And they're flying. Whoa, Earthshaker there to the left side. They were flying formation, guys. My lord. Like the Blue Angels, but on land. All right, they're hitting the jumps now. Guys, see what our split times are going to be here coming up. We got a pop and a wheelie there. Kind of worried about our chassis right now. It's one thing we didn't upgrade last round. Some big air again. Look out here into the next turn. Oh, stay on. Oh, we're off track. We're going to lose some precious time here, guys. All right, so it didn't reset us, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately, I don't know. Usually, uh, from Titan's Grove in previous um, gameplay off screen, it just reset us. We lost a few seconds just having the camera reset in the middle of the track. So, all right, so it looks like we have. Uh, is that the Monster Mutt Dalmatian behind us? Hitting these jumps here. Did the gain on us there? We were off track there for. Our, we lost by a few seconds of lead time there. Gaining it back here. And we are halfway through this race. 231.83 for us. Captain's Curse is back there in second. Then you got Soldier Fortune Black Ops. All right. And the Dalmatians in the fourth place. And Max D or Shaker. I'm not sure where they are. Did not register yet. Big air time here. Woo! All right. Keeping it on four wheels here. We don't want to nose it down. We don't want to hit any particular wheel hard. Trying to keep the damage at a minimum. This is a long course. Woo, baby, big air. All right. So again, this is on beginner. We will change you know, the difficulty here as we get better at the game. But I'm just really concerned about our, one of our tires breaking down here and losing some time. It always seems to happen too, like the last lap with a little bit of the track left. Nice little landing there. Hitting some more or less racing bumps here. You hit this big jump here. I'm gonna take a little bit easy over that one. It's some big air still. Alright, nice turn. We're looking at the last lap here, about the next 30 seconds get past some of these more speed racing bumps and mounds of dirt. I'm going to get our final straightaway here to the white flag for the final lap. Let's see what our split times will be as well. Pretty good training truck here. We got a lot of dirt though all over the truck right now. 
from this course. Pretty cool course. A lot of speed. We lost it last time here, so keep it on the track. Much better there. All right. Into the straightaway. We got a pack of about four cars, so whoever's in the second might be Pirate's Curse again. Is that who it was last time? He's uh, still holding second pretty good. Oof. All right. These jumps here, we're not hitting them all that well. Kind of bouncing around here. You see how you kind of lose speed there as well? If you hit those jumps a bit better, your tires will grip the track more and get some better speed. And that was the end of the race, actually. Okay, good. I thought we had one more lap to go. I wasn't really paying attention. Nice victory there. That actually was a great, great race. But how do we survive again in the beginning? We stayed. We split the uprights there, too. That was pretty awesome. We got a lot more points here to distribute between our truck upgrades. All right, guys. Pretty cool. These are some quick plays of these two uh, circuit courses. So next episode, we'll come here and show you uh, the next one. Dusty Donut. We have to unlock this actually in career. So maybe we'll start a career mode um, next round. So I guess this episode could just be kind of a test episode of some of the courses, showing you guys some more gameplay of it. So I did not know that. We have to unlock this in career. So that's good to know, though. Um, we got some good practice in, though, on Titans Grove and Gecko Flats Airfield. Make sure you guys blast the like button for us. And as always, comment below and subscribe if you're new here. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Thanks for watching this gameplay of Monster Jam Steel Titans on the Nintendo Switch. Take care.